Hey guys, Dr. Christy Ennis. That dramatic reenactment was me just a couple hours ago. So if you are feeling as blech as I am, follow along with me today as I treat my own neck and hopefully have us all feeling better by the end of this video. All right, step one in this process is actually some self-massage, but not deep tissue, right? Everything just kind of went so we want it to relax. So I'm gonna use my Derma Edge. You can use your hand or even the flat edge of a butter knife. This is more comfortable for me. I created it too and I'll, I'll link it for you guys below. But the key thing here is that we wanna do nice, slow, gentle strokes. Reason being, one, we're getting some blood flow going, right? So we're trying to get everything to relax a little bit. But number two is that these slow strokes actually stimulate these receptors on the skin, which talk to the brain and the brain then goes, okay, muscle, time to relax. So gentle, which is great too, because we're already uncomfortable. We don't want to be more uncomfortable, right? So for me right now, it's definitely this upper trap, which is what it typically is for a lot of people. It's a little bit behind in the levator scapula, all these big muscle names. And then it's also kind of up through the back. I'm just gonna use my opposite hand here to do that. So I'm gonna do this until I feel like, okay, that doesn't feel so bad anymore. And focus in on the areas that feel the tightest. Right now for me, it's kind of up towards my ear and my head where my upper trap connect. And that actually already feels good. So again, we're just trying to get a little bit of relief going and then we're gonna move on. So I'm gonna stop doing this because I actually do feel a little bit better and just see how I feel if I turn my head. <laughs> so not great, but I was turning my whole body before, so that's an improvement. So now let's see if we can get a little bit more motion. Step two is going to be releasing some of those tight spots we found when we were doing our self-massage. So I'm gonna show you the upper trap one because the techniques are all the same. So you're gonna find that spot. I'm gonna use the edge of the derma edge. You can use your knuckle, it's just you know a little more awkward, that's all. You're going to press in, <sighs> Press into that spot gently. So on that pain scale, no more than a four out of 10, okay? I know sometimes it feels really good to like dig for dear life, and if you really have to do that, you can, but research shows that you actually don't have to do that, right? So let's not make ourselves more painful. If we don't have to, unless that's your thing, you do you. But I'm finding this spot, and now really what we're gonna do is actually focus on specific diaphragm breathing. So from here, you want to think about kind of filling the belly up as you breathe in and then letting it go as you exhale. You notice my shoulders just kind of let down a little bit there too, right? So it's inhale and exhale. Now you're doing this breathing until that pain that was about a four out of 10 gets down to about a zero or a one. So there's no specific time frame or number because everybody's a little bit different with that. And diaphragm breathing specifically because they have found that it calms down the nervous system and it actually helps to relax the neck muscles, right? Both things that we're trying to do there. Conversely, when we tend to have neck pain, we tend to breathe right in through shallow, in through the chest, in through the rib muscles, and in through the neck muscles, which just makes everything tight. And even though mine was like a specific reaching motion, yours may have been rolling over in bed, who knows, right? Generally speaking, we were probably a little bit in this position and tense to begin with too. So this will also help prevent this from happening in the future. And my spot feels way better now. So let's do that little test again. Oh, definitely better. A little pain as I get to the end there, but that's still more motion. So then let's move on to step three. Our last step, you need a hand towel, a regular towel, or a hospital gown if you have one handy. And this helps to get that last bit of motion. So where I'm having difficulty turning to the right, I'm actually gonna cross so that my right hand is on top. And you're gonna scooch this up to wherever the back of your neck, if you've got pain in the back of your neck, kind of that level that it hurts at. Mine's about in the, in the middle and up a little bit. Don't choke yourself here either, right? But my right arm's crossed over. My left hand's actually gonna pull down and help, actually help um, what we call depressing that first rib, which is where some of those muscles attach. And I'm gonna use this arm now, my right arm, to help me turn that head to the right. Again, you wanna do this without pain. Yay, I can get almost all the way over. Maybe not quite. And you're just pausing for a couple seconds and coming back, right? And you wanna do about 10 to 15 of these and I can even get a little bit, I'm so excited. I can even get a little bit more motion as I go, which you hopefully will find too. Now, obviously you would just switch hands if you need to go the other way. If you are having trouble looking up, 
you can take that same towel, this time you're gonna pull down, right, with both hands, and then go ahead and bend, oh, this feels so good. <laughs> and then go ahead and bend up and take a look at your ceiling, make sure there's no spider webs hanging out there. If you are having trouble going down, you can take those hands behind your head, and I'm actually just lifting a little bit up through the skull, and then gently tucking the chin. Again, you're just pausing for a breath or so, and then repeating each of those motions that need it for about 10 to 15 repetitions.